we've talked a lot about um, the intersection of emotional motivation and when it uh, creates and meets with brand desire, this idea that we call limbic sparks. What do you believe um, is the best way for brands to think about creating limbic sparks right now? That intersection of differentiation and authenticity. No, I, I should say the intersection of relevance and authenticity. That's better. Rele that's okay. Better. Relevance and authenticity. That is fantastic. Uh, yeah. And uh, if, if, if you hit that, that sweet spot, then, then uh, you, got, you, can, uh, you can have all the sparks you want. <laughs> that is great. When, when you think about uh, brands that are not thinking about emotion and emotional insights, why do you, why do you think that some, some brands are not going there? There's so much proven power, yet it is still a often neglected or under leveraged aspect of brand leadership. Yeah, it's a complete over reliance then on, on, on the functional benefits that people think they that they have and that well or that, that or that people may have but but that people think are um, unique and, and defendable and, and and I think they and I think in today's uh, um, world uh, um, I can't think of any functional benefit in that in and of itself is defendable for too long, too long a time. One more question. As a brand leader, um, what is it you know now that you wish you knew years ago? Well, I think, uh, that, yeah, that's a bit like a, it's a bit, maybe a bit of a comment from a guy with gray hair, but that it's, <laughs> but it, it's, it's, uh, it's about, it's about the long term, not, not the short term, right? I, I think I was incredibly focused in the early 10, 15 years of my career on short-term impact. And, and that was also, by the way, what I was asked to do and, 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 uh, and, and really um, rewarded for. I, um, uh, partly, I guess, because of my age and the role I have, but also because of the pandemic, what you see is the businesses that are truly resilient. I mean, the specific short, termism um, is uh, is highly overstated in, in, in uh, right it, a proper stewardship of a brand and a business for the long haul is 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 what businesses need and um, and in the situation we are in today proves how powerful and important that is yeah so incredible. continues to be able to to employ just roughly 275,000 people um, uh, uh, because because our business is so resilient and because we're so well able to, to pivot uh, where we need to. Um, and we're able to pivot because we have phenomenal capabilities and, and strong brands that have been well taken care of for a long, long, long time. That is incredibly, that, that has benefits that I didn't really connect with early on in my career. I, I wish I did though. This has been an incredible conversation. If people want to contact you, what's the best way? Uh, through LinkedIn. Yeah. Uh, people can send me an email at uh, stephangans at pepsico.com. Um, that would work. Excellent. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for joining us on Let's Talk Limbic Sparks. This has been a fantastic conversation and we're just so thrilled um, that, that you can be here and share all of this uh, experience and insight with us. Thank you so much. My pleasure.